It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Green Bay Packers. And it's coming up next. It's a venue in a city that's seen more NFL history than just about anyone else. Welcome to Lambeau Field in the heart of Green Bay. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense could get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Runs are Rigoberto Sanchez has it teed up and ready to go. And away we go from Wisconsin. It's Keyshawn Nixon with the return. Returns looking good so far. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. To the Packers offense, getting set for their first drive. And they'll be let out by their third-year signal caller. And even if he's still pretty early in his career, we know he is perfectly comfortable and settled into this spot as the be-all, end-all for this offense. Every time you take the field as a quarterback, you know you're gaining experience. You're getting more comfortable in the role. And as he goes forward, he tries to learn and take something away from each and every one of these moments. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he sets it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays, that inside run, that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. Second down now, seven to go. from the 36. This is on target to Christian Watson. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Running on first here with Jacobs. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. We slated downs to approach here from the 40. They go play action on first. Gets this one to Watson. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Receiver in motion going left. From the 33 on second down. Trailed in by Jamie Reed. And he's tackled with a first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Willis looking to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Textbook hitch wrap. He's hit him in the short field and deliver it once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play, but a reliable source of yardage. All right, here we go, second down. An early jump of the flags come in. I think this is gonna go against the defense. Bro 
poked a plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Throwing from the gun. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Here's Willis to the air. opening series partner they just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone yeah it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown but it showed just how well designed that script was it was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone but getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on now they'll see if they can tack on one more And this kick is through as they take a 7-0 lead. is about set to kick this one away and away we go again Dallas Flowers now on the return returns looking good so far his return gets him to the 32 yard line before he's taken down so now the Colts getting their first opportunity on offense in this game bringing them out to the fourth overall pick who unfortunately had that rookie season cut short at just four games good to have him back from Florida Anthony Richardson I don't think it's hyperbole to say that when Anthony Richardson came out of the draft out of Florida, he was the greatest all-around athlete we'd ever seen at quarterback. 240 pounds, running 4-4, jumping 40 inches. He was the envy of defensive ends and linebackers that couldn't put up those numbers. Now, it's taking all those athletic traits and squeezing them into the quarterback position, maximizing all that physical talent to become the superstar he can be. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Play action with Richardson. Kicks made over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First and 10 from the 41. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short little throw to the tight end. You really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure. so good with their clock in their head between the tackles. But you get outside the pocket, and you've got to have that same ability. If you hesitate for a second, the defenses with their speed at this level, they'll find a way to bring you to the ground. Packers putting six defensive backs out there, defending pass on this third down. 
Back to throw. Here's Richardson on target to his man Taylor. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. It's plays like that, Kate, right along. Well, I sit and judge the defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field. Not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Hunt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one's marked as a 38-yard punt. And the Packers will take over possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing now, all play action. And he'll get it only the 38 yard line before going down. Pick up a 12 on that play. And it'll be first down, Packers. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, range? Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -uh, it's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. Second down now, seven to go. Going run again with Jacobs. And he fights his way forward to get this to the 45. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Turning to Jacobs on third. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball, but a third down run for a first down could be so demoralizing to that defense. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. They stick with Jacobs, and he's brought down for a loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. On second down, Jacobs. And he gets it through the midfield stripe and onto the Colts' side of the field. Three yards puts him back on the right track. Now they've got third and nine. a fast enough break for the interception but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball get a finger on it and foresee incompletion so fourth down here comes daniel wheeler to send it flying for the packers the colts with their offense out their second drive coming up and they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt
Grimes starts out with a first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. Hauled in by Downs. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. They're set up at the 35 now. First down throw here from Richardson. Taken in by Pierce. And he made a bid from midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. On target to downs. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First down, ball to 36. Now throw again, Richardson. Finds his man, Downs. And he's out of bounds, just short of the 30. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Takes off right out of the read option. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Drive picks up here, first and ten. Throwing off the play fake here. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts get it down to a single point. That was just gorgeous football right there. He saw the window, just had to wait for his guy to flow toward it. And that pass fit in beautifully for the touchdown. Kate, this is one of those moments where a quarterback's got to take his pre-snap read and make sure he confirms it quickly post-snap. And when he does, mm. and he's got space to fit that post in, like you said, it's a thing of beauty. Matt Gay on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. He fields it from the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Out now runs the Packer offense. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Jacobs gets it on the draw. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Well, that draw gets him as many yards as a lot of passes would right there. 
And until this defense proves they can stop these drop plays, you can expect to see them worked into the game plan throughout. Second and one. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And what will they dial up on third and short? Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And he gets back to the line, but no more. No gain on that play, and this is how we'll end the first quarter. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. The Packers send out their punting unit. Josh Downs deep for the Colts. Went for 48 with his first kick, and this one looks even better. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Colts and Anthony Richardson headed back onto the field. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And the Colts will take over. Set, first and ten. Here's Richardson. Throw right side, and that one's hauled in. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass, into some yards after catch and that quarterback will find you again. From the 39 now, after that explosive start to this drive. On first down, it's Richardson. Pass complete to his back. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Short side option here. He's running left. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. Certainly draw off these quarterback keepers anticipating a whole lot more yardage. But I think it could be overlooked there since they did pick up the first down. If anything, they can see what kept it to a small game over there on the sidelines. And they'll come back to it on the next set of downs. They send him left out of the slot. Taylor gets it on first and ten. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Fails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's on the move and shows the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Hey, God bless the Ted Washingtons, Casey Hamptons, Vince Wilforks, all the run stuffers back in the day. But the D tackles of today, you not only have to step the run, you have to eat up the pass, too. And that D tackle just got it done. Figure out this third down here. Now Richardson to throw. Setting up the wide receiver screen. And now get him down after he gets into the 48. 
Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, you do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. The Colts ready for the punt. And he doesn't put much height or distance on that one. And there won't be a return here. This punt is out of bounds. They'll say inside the 40. The Packers all set to get back out there. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten coming up. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. I've talked to running backs over the years, Kate, in the transition from the college game to the pro game. They'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that on the first down play. Shotgun give now to Jacobs. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They push it forward for a yard. That brings up third and eight. chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Loose slate of downs to approach here from the 40. From the gun, it's a give to Jacobs. And he'll push this upfield and earn that a new set of downs. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision in extra yards. First and 10 now from the 30. Handoff here to Jacobs. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Willis. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Tight end going in motion here. Along the sideline, he brings it in. They say he got the feet down, too. Excellent work. That's a pickup of 17 yards. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll run. Jacobs. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign where well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. It's second and goal. Throwing is Willis. And this is going to be a green bag touchdown. The Packers take a second quarter lead. Jaden Reed, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. 
They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring into a defense. Other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Kicking team out to try the extra points. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Has this at the six. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. Now the Indianapolis offense heading out. It's a touchdown ball game right now, Brock. 14-7 as they start this possession. First and ten now from the 30. To throw, Richardson. He's got Pierce. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Richards in now on first and ten. It's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Play action with Richardson. He throws a bullet deep to the... This is brought in at the 15. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. They have themselves another first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing to get back on track. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. He brings it in. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Third and short yard and cheer Richardson. He has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Michael Pittman Jr. with the touchdown. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock, and they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Gay to add the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up.
Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Packers and Josh Jacobs are not set to go on offense. Now try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Jacobs running behind center. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Second down now, seven to go. Running right, here's Jacobs. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They only get a yard that time, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Third and six for them to figure out now. They go play action here. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. That's an 11-yard kickoff, and it gives them the first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. From the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Here's Willis to the air. Forced out to his right. Now he takes it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And it'll be first down, Packers. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense and it can suck the wind out of that defense. And he's short of the first after a mild game. You know, Kay, that is the epitome of trust right there. Right, when the ball is let out of his hands, I think everybody on the sidelines in the stadium went, because <gasps> you throw it in double coverage. And you may question the decision, but it's tough to challenge it when it produces results like that. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. The Colts adding a man in the secondary here. Third down coming up. To throw. Here's Willis. Complete, and now we've got fourth down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. The Colts headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And at the pace he's begun the game throwing the football, Brock, he is in line for a special type of performance if they need to keep throwing it until the end. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. This one finds Taylor. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. 
Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Looking to throw. Dittman's got it. And good tackle, but a flag is down, likely against the defense. Well, as we all know, halves can't end on a defensive penalty. So now we get an untimed down. First down throw here from Richardson. Throwing for the end zone. And they can't connect on the deep look. So a couple of snaps to play with, though, here. We've got second down. We've reached half time of what's been an entertaining one so far. 14 all is our score. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. set up for an incredible second half all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three that's going to be taken in at the eight he stopped on the return at the 27 the Colts are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback and this is some quality film review right here look at this couple of touchdowns good amount of yards too he's been moving them down the field like only he can putting together quite the game for himself in the process Starts out with a first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. So the big play has them well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. On first down, it's Richardson. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. And he can't escape the Packers dropping. And that pushes him back. Situation like this, you gotta be a fixer. I mean, this game is hard. When you get into passing, known passing situations, it gets even more difficult. But when you don't get rid of the ball and you take another sack, you make this third down a near impossibility. This offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. Richardson. Fires over the middle. Decent game here, but short of the first. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Second 
Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Packers ready to run their offense back out there. drive will start out with a first and ten. Hand off running right, Jacobs. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I think this is the part where they run away, Kate. As in run away from that monster. He's just too strong a presence to try to block them inside, and that time it cost him some yards. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing now, off play action. Throw left side to Watson. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Battle coming up on third and inches. They run it with Jacobs. Short game is enough for a new set of downs. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. First down, ball at the 36. Oh, a little movement along the line there. That's going to cost the defense five yards. Thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Now talk about a golden opportunity at an immediate first down following that encroachment flat. Running it after the penalty. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Nothing on first and five. That brings up second down. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. They go and play action. And the Colts get to him. He goes down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. The call play action would have been better to actually give it to him on a carry right there, Kate. The front was full for about a split second, if that. And that play call ended up working in their favor as it leads to a sack. Let's see what they went with on third down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He's got it, room to run. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Never eat shredded wheat. Northeast, south, and west, right, Kate? And I like on third downs, north and south. You start going east to west and eating that wheat, you could run into problems just like that. Punt team on the field. It'll be Daniel Whelan doing the honors. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Set first and ten. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Into traffic, complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. 
you know, with some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, heck, put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. Second down carry for Taylor. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. It's a meager two-yard gain, but that's enough to award them the first down. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. Ball at the 33 for first down. Taylor again. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Kate, I knew it at the time. I think everybody did. We knew the Legion of Boom was special. Right? That entire secondary, but their safety's ability early cam to come downhill to make those tackles behind the line of scrimmage as he just did. Yeah, I mean, you appreciate great safety play like that. Here's second and 11. Take it in by Pierce. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. Pistol Richardson complete beyond the marker, and he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Six yards on the play, and enough for a first. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre snap decision that led to a post snap first down. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Richardson back to throw. Tight end has it across the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. All right, set now. First and ten. They'll throw again, Richardson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. From the 20 on second down. Quick slant taken in by Pittman. And he's able to get this down to the 13. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. This throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Second and three now. Throwing it again here. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts make it a nine-point advantage. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. to add the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now here comes the Green Bay offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Willis to the air. He's got Watson. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. From the 36. Leeds got it. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Now the PAT try coming up. And he sends the point after right through the uprights. set up and it's away just a three-point game now here's a return from the seven and pretty solid field position starting out here brock he's tackled at the 29 the visitors ready for their next series let out on offense by their quarterback I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw to the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's Richardson. He's got Pierce. And well, he's going to be blocked down at the 42. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. To throw, Richardson. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A pickup there of 33 yards. And it'll be first down, Colts. You throw it in the middle of the field, it's all about anticipation and accuracy. I mean, those are the two keys all the time in my book, Kate. But when you throw it in the middle of the field with all of the traffic, that's where guys with great anticipation and that tremendous accuracy come to life. Richardson now on first and ten. Flushed out of the pocket. He's on the move. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. 
That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And now they have a first and goal. Three quarters in the books from this one. The Colts have it with a lead. Not a big one, though. Trying to carry it through the four. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts make it a nine-point advantage. Michael Pittman Jr. with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it. Well, we knew this was coming. All touchdowns are reviewed, especially late in a close game like this. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, who got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Green Bay offense about to get started once more. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Well, that's a case where defensively you've got to keep your eyes in the backfield and be ready if they go with that drop play. Even an extra second to react, well, it gives them room for a game just like that. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. The penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. Now head up, first and ten from the 42. Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Oh, on him quick there, and they bring him to the turf. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. To the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to bring it up to the 40 yard line before he stopped.
He's driving some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Turning to Jacobs on third. And he's not going to get much. A modest gain at best to the 41. Nothing for them there. Maybe one yard. That's going to be fourth down. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of reaction time you want when you face a draw play. They broke on it shortly after the draw started, and they contained it to a minimal gain. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Secures this at the 17, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. The drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. He's throwing deep to the left side. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. There was a window there for a moment. But boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Richardson now. Quick hitter complete. And he goes out of bounds, just short of the 35. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Taylor now up the middle. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of him. Markers reset, ball at the 37. They'll send him over right. Going to the ground again on first. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Richardson. That's complete to Pittman. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Now Richardson to throw. Finds his man down. This is marked down right along that 40-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. On first down, it's Richardson. Right. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. Now this offense getting set to work here. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. They've got first down from the 31. 
throwing now following the turnover. And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. They were in this 12. Shane Steichen definitely saw things differently. And now he's thrown the challenge flag. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens because you've got to make that <laughs> transition from college where one foot, you're yep. good. Yep. But not at this level. You've got to be a ballerina. You've got to get those toes both in, and the replay booth will be the judge of it. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Handoff running left, Jacobs. Works the sideline inside the 35. Give him 24 on that play. And it'll be first down, Packers. Best run games in this league at balance. Can run it inside, and as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. They'll come up first and ten. Willis looking to throw. That's into the hands of Dobbs. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. defensive coordinators say hey you got to earn the right to rush the passer you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes and when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback you've earned nothing throwing is willis and this is going to be a green bay touchdown the packers making a four-point game here in the fourth it's a romeo dobbs touchdown no hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays and have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. They can tack on one more now, bring things back to within a field goal. That one right down the middle. Now on the scoreboard. Ball is set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Returning it from the four. Returns looking good so far. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Brock. A response in order as they take over. Set, first and ten. Drive starts with an option, right side. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment. Those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. 
He had it for Owen, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first, guarantee some yards, and then worry about escaping the defenders and getting up field. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing now, Richardson. Taylor makes the catch. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. They'll bring out the punter here. Rigoberto Sanchez will kick it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Packers and this running back headed back out for a new series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Throwing off the play fake here. This is reeled in by Reed. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Second and six coming up here. Willis. And finds Jacobs complete. And he's brought down for a loss. Kate, that's one of those situations as a quarterback that on my grade sheet, that's a negative. That screen was ambushed by the defense, and you've got to throw it away. Just find a way to put it at his feet and not create a negative play for your offense. Looking to throw. Set of downs. Excellent pickup to move the chains. 36 yards in the end. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always got to start your read from the secondary forward. You got to see what the safeties are doing. If you're going to throw a ball in the middle third deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were. And the QB just nailed it. Here's Willis. to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. It's got to come back. Willis to throw it. Taken in by Dobbs. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. Here we go, second down. Still sticking with the passing game. That won't be caught outright, it's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So they're left facing third and long. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. He'll throw it. He'll set up a screen out wide. Down to the 10. And this is going to be a green bag touchdown. The Packers take a fourth quarter lead. So that brought an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined-looking drive. 
they were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. A chance to take their lead beyond a field goal on this point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Fielded at the seven. Returns looking good so far. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Indianapolis offense ready to take another swing at it. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. Hey, Kate, the best kick returners I was ever around, really at any level. They want this opportunity. They want their chance to help their team. They know they're down, but they also know that return, especially a good one like this, can set the offense up for success. Rich is in now on first and ten. Maykate's quickly left side. The ball is out. Oh, but the fumble goes out of bounds. Oh, close ball there. You know what? This game is hard. So sometimes catching a break or two in just the right circumstances is a big deal. Sideline could be your best friend as a winner. If you lose the ball next to it, there's a good chance it can go harmlessly out of bounds. Take it in by Pierce. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Packers' side of the field. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Green Bay. Colts losing by four. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 47. Another tough play for him. Took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Well, that's the one you chalk up to the pressure. Only in that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target. Hit him through that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Now the throw. To the sideline, and it is caught. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Okay, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route... That deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Ball at the 33 for first down. Looking to throw it. And a work play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Well, that throw came pretty clean out of his hand. Just looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing now. Escapes the pocket. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. Well, that's a situation. May have worked out better if he threw the ball. His running ability gets him a chunk of yards, but still some work to do to get that first down. Colts operating from the hurry up. Rushing back to the line. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest. It gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. To throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contest. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. 
even the shortest and simplest of throws, and it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Traffic complete, and he's brought down after a short game. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety bag, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. A less than ideal third and eight here. Back to throw it. This throw is caught. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. You need to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. They're going Taylor. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Timeout Indianapolis. That's it, second. Still one more in their pocket to use. chances to make that type of play for your team You've got to come through on that touchdown so the incompletion on first here's second and goal he'll look to throw it to the side of the end zone but that one's incomplete that throw doesn't lead to six and that brings up third and goal you need to buy your receivers enough time to get open and hang you out and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. If the line doesn't hold up, the completions follow. Looking to throw. And he's got it! He pulls in a game-winning touchdown with almost no time left! Absolutely clutch score there, Brock, as they take the lead here in the final minute. Incredible execution. The moment not too big for any of them. And, Kate, they cashed in when it really mattered. Pretty important PAT here, Brock, to make it a field goal game. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Says it all set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Oh, he's in trouble. He'll go down. The Colts got him. Now 
here's the timeout after the sack. Had to take it, and they're down to just one final play. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. One final shot here. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. So it's the Colts who come away with a win on the road. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory.